So the designer of the video game Alice, his name is American McGee, is not really impressed with the PlayStation 4. Matter of fact, he's like, meh. And we'll get into all the comments he's talked about. But before we get to this video, let's get to the question of the day. Alright, so stay tuned to the end of this video to find out the answer to the question of the day. Alright, so let's talk about uh, Mr. American McGee. First of all, that's got to be the, the worst name I've heard ever for anyone in the history of names. American McGee, terrible. But yeah, he designed, or you know, uh, I guess he's the designer of Alice, the, the game. Yes, he's not impressed with the PS4, he's buried it, he is just completely, you know, casting it aside, he's just dismissing it. I mean, here's what he said. I was hoping for innovation in control input, I didn't see anything meaningful, so meh. It's nice that they're moving towards what looks like more developer-friendly hardware and indie-friendly uh, distribution. But remains to be seen if the appearance matches reality. Overall, I think this generation of consoles will struggle painfully against the momentum of mobile online games we're seeing globally. So he's basically one of these guys that just do not see any, uh, he doesn't see the bright light. He doesn't feel too uh, positive and doesn't have a lot of confidence with this, uh, I guess the next gen is about to come up. Is <laughs> Because now that the Wii U is out, can we say that we're at the 8th generation? I mean, we're definitely at the 8th generation of the handheld consoles. Uh, the Vita is out, the 3DS is out, that's the 8th generation. Those have been around since 2012, 2011, so... Can we say that we're right in the 8th generation of gaming right now? Or does this everybody have to catch up? Like, are we... Do we have to wait for the PS4 to come out and the 720... For, for it to be officially like the start of the 8th generation. There's got to be some sort of like actual time span between... I guess it's company based, I guess. Like the, for Nintendo, it's the 8th generation. You know, all their systems, they got the brand new, the Wii U and the 3DS is out. So they're right there. Anyway, um... Yeah, I mean, he's basically not very confident with uh, the state of the next generation. And basically, he's saying uh, what a lot of people feel is that, oh man, the uh, next platforms are, are going to be in trouble. They're going to be struggling painfully against mobile and online games. Wow. I can see why people would say this. I mean, you see a lot of it, like on Craigslist and stuff like that. People selling their handheld consoles and whatever. You know, selling their 3DS and, and their Vitas and PSPs because they already have an iTouch, an iPod, uh, not iPad type of thing, you know, a smartphone, tablet type stuff that plays games. Um, I don't know how much the console industry has suffered because of it, the actual home consoles, but I mean, I know that we, we know the handheld industry has suffered. Oh. God, man, that's... I can see why he's uh, concerned. I can see why he sees it that way. Why it's like, okay, you know, it doesn't look too good for the uh, next generation consoles. Uh, it's all about the sales, man. It's all about generating the re revenue. Um, and he also talked about how, y you know, how gamers have to relax and how... There's just always this constant negative backlash. Uh, SimCity backlash, you know, Diablo 3 when they uh, were launched. And gamers were just uh, very, very negative and just quick to try to destroy the, uh, the publishers, I guess, the companies. You know, he, he thinks that gamers are entitled and everything. I mean, this is, you know, this is a guy that put his stuff on Kickstarter to get funds, man. He's trying to g uh, get some sort of thing for Alice 3, you know, the third Alice game. Yeah, it's the, because there was Alice 2, the second one that was just recently released, right? I have some other game on there. 
I don't know, man. It's quick to judge this guy and just call him a bum and be like, well, this guy isn't even... He's not even a top-tier uh, designer, developer type of guy. He's just some douchebag named American McGee with, with a horrible name, you know, and just bashing the PS4. But he does bring up some good points. Uh, the PS4, I, I did think that the control uh, was whack. You know, it was terrible. The, the PS4 controller doesn't look that great. It looks kind of more of the same shit, except with, you know, influenced a little bit by the, the Wii and the Wii U and, you know, maybe a 7, not 720, but the 360. Like, certain things influenced it. Uh, the Kinect, you know, it's more of a, that interactive, uh, social, casual crap, you know what I mean? I was hoping for a brand new controller from Sony, but evidently... Uh, this guy was hoping for the same thing. Innovation in control input, whatever that meant. Um, it would have been exciting to see a different controller that had some sort of new function or new feature. Maybe, a, you know, instead of having the same layout that they've had for 16 years or so, they could have switched it up around. You know, maybe uh, make it look a little bit different, the design. Just, I, I don't know. I mean, the, the PlayStation controller has been the same, and it's... That's not the same thing with uh, Nintendo. At least Nintendo, they try to switch it up every generation. Uh, anyway, that's the Alice designer, American McGee's comments regarding the PS4. He's not impressed with it. And he thinks that the next generation of consoles will struggle painfully. And you know what? He could be right. And this might be the final generation of uh, the console gaming industry. Like, this is it. This is the final one. They're not going to make any more after this because what's the point? They're just, they're, they have too much competition from all these other, you know, tablets and handhelds and, you know, maybe even the indie uh, type of systems, you know, the, you know, even the Ouya or something like that. And, the steam box thing I mean you just I can't even imagine these consoles not being released anymore but it's possible because there's so many more options now alright so this was the answer to the question of the day